Have the smoky five ampere red lithium my own battery. It's a red dead lithium my own battery at the moment. I'm going to show you why. With the lid off, you can clearly see all the corrosion here. That circuit board is bound to be fried. All the green corrosion and rust here and there. And if I pull out of the casing, it's actually even worse. Look at that. There's burst cells, there's corrosion, there's more corrosion. It's just a hot mess. It's just a complete disaster. So this is not a simple repair. It's going to involve a complete teardown and a complete rebuild. And that's what I'm going to do. The only usable part of this is the casing and this inner shell without the circuit board, of course. All the cells got to go. The circuit board has to go and start again. So I've removed these two screws now out of here and here and the next thing to do is pop off these spot welds here and here I usually use a small screwdriver to try and get underneath and pop them up that's them both pried up so the next thing to do is there's four one two three and four there's points to desolder and then you can lift the board straight off I don't think I'm going to bother doing that because there's one already broken. A lot of nickel strips in such bad condition, it's not reusable. So I'll just take these away out, like this here, and nip it off. That's your circuit board now removed. The only bit I might be able to use is this part here, but. The rest of it's complete gone. It's 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 all busted. It's fried. That's all the nickel strip disconnected and some of the tops of some of these batteries have come off. I've never seen ones in worse condition. That's all the sails removed now. So what we got to work with is this now. I broke a little bit off. Beating those cells out and there's still a shell of one of them in there. We'll have to clean that up. I was able to save these. They go in between the cells. And here. I may or may not need them for what I have in store. Yeah, it all needs a definite, definite thorough clean up before I go any further. It's no surprise I need a new one of these. But that's not a problem. Generic circuit board purchased from eBay cost eight pound. The cleanup process in these um, has gone reasonably well. They're sort of a lot of the rust is removed, and I've cleaned that up so it's actually serviceable. You could use it. I've cleaned up these end pieces of strip so we can reuse them because they're good quality. The other four connections, the other four nickel strip connections, I'll have to fabricate them. And then fit the circuit board I've just shown you and solder it in. So that's all the little nickel strip pieces fabricated that I need to connect the circuit board to what will be the battery pack. Just four joints to solder and we're good to go. Board fitted, soldered, nickel strips fabricated, ready for the cells. But where am I going to get the cells? I could buy them, but where would the fun be in that? No, no, I had this Panasonic 18 volt 5 amp hour lithium ion battery. This has got a full pack of viable cells all perfectly balanced sitting at 3.4 volts each it's not charging so I'm going to repurpose it totally to become our battery pack for the Milwaukee all I got to do is take it apart 
So that's the Panasonic battery completely dismantled. The cells successfully removed without damaging, which is always tricky. And they're all viable. 3.3, sorry, 3.43 volts, which means they're all completely well balanced, which should make a good job on my Milwaukee pack. Empty creator battery pack. I put tape across here and here to stop these connections from crossing with each other. I bent them up so they don't cause me any havoc when I'm loading up the cells. Right, that's the cells loaded up inside the battery pack now. You can see the way up. Negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, etc. So I have to spot weld it all together. Then put it inside the box and it should be good to go. Right, that's the pack all connected, all spot welded together. It won't won any beauty contest, but I'm showing two bars there. I'm very, very happy about that. I think this is going to be a success. I ended up not using these, but hey, I'm not the type of guy to worry about things like that. I'm ready to put it into the casing. Oh, yeah, all's good. And here we are, the case closed, all inside, press the button, two bars. That is encouraging. Another test. Powers a tool. Next thing I'm going to have to try it in the charger. And here we go. Looks like it's charging. That's pretty good. So I'm going to leave that on a little while and I'll come back to it in a few minutes. Here it's even, it's already went up to three bars. I'm very, very happy with this. I think this is a complete success. Right, we've got four bars now. So that means that was a complete success. So that's the Red Dead Lithium Redemption. So if you like this video or found it interesting, please subscribe and check out my other videos. Thank you.